it's Jillian here and I have a wig review for you today and it's a wig review with a little bit of a difference. So all the wig reviews that I've done in the past um, have all been my own personal purchases um, that I've got through a company called Nemo Wigs based here in Scotland and I have purchased a lot of wigs whilst we've been in lockdown so it's it's been great for me. Um, and something really special happened a couple of days ago. I had my wig order arrive and it's always exciting when it's wig day. I don't know if you feel the same, but I just love it. Feels like my birthday and Christmas rolled into one. And I, I thought, oh, and I was expecting like a few more pieces, but I saw that I saw one of them was quite large in size. And I thought, strange. I wonder what that is because all the wigs I, I, I know are pretty standard box sizes. So I opened it up and in it was this, Belle Tress. And I was thinking, uh oh, <laughs> there's been a little error here. I think I've, I've got someone else's order by mistake. So I messaged the lovely Michelle and I said, I think I might have somebody's order here by mistake. Just to let you know that it's here, it's not been opened and just give me a heads up and I'll send it back to you. And I got the loveliest, loveliest message back that said that she had gifted me this because I was such a good customer and that I had bought a lot of wigs off of her and that I was promoting her through my Instagram page and also through the reviews, which is really nice because I don't do that in order to gain. I obviously do my reviews because I think it helps others to see the wigs on different face shapes, different shapes of body, um, colourings, etc. And I think, because it helped me, certainly when I'm, whenever I'm purchasing a new wig, that is what I do. I go and look at as many reviews as I can. Um, so I'm not doing it for any kind of gain, but I'm like literally, no one's ever done anything like that for me before. So I am blown away by that generosity and cannot thank her enough for having done that. So when I knew that this little one was for me, course I was like ah can't wait can't wait can't wait must get her out of the box and see because I was not familiar with the style and only just familiar with the brand because I am a bit more of a John Renault Raquel Welch type of gal um so I was intrigued to see how good Beltrace is so let me show you her now this is tea leaf layer HF which is heat friendly and the color is champagne with apple pie which just sounds so yummy apple pie makes me like actually literally makes me feel quite hungry quite peckish so let me take her out of the box and i will show you her how gorgeous is that i mean it's absolutely beautiful and the fibres on this wig feel incredible. They actually feel so beautiful. Like I know the more I do this it's just going to take the shine right off and it's not going to feel like that. But for the time being, um, this is her. How beautiful is this? So at the moment I've actually got um, an Ellen Villa wig on my head um, which is called Stay in light champagne rooted and I've got a nice Alice band from the gorgeous Candy Co boutique. Um, so I'm just going to take this off um, and I'm going to pop on tea leaf. I'm going to have to excuse the, the riot that is my bio here and then we can have a look at her. Now I have had this on my head. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the cap actually first. That's very important to do that. So she has got a mono top. She is mono. She is hand tied. She is um, lace fronted. So she can be parted in all directions and she will give the illusion of scalp. Okay. And it's quite hard to actually see that. Now this is rooted, um, but it's ever so slightly. It's very, very subtle the rooting in this. Um, you can see obviously the back, you can see the darker shade at the very bottom of the, the neck area. Um, so she she is a gorgeous stretchy cap, very, very comfortable, very closed inside, hand tied. 
um she is she has got the ear tabs that are not velvet they are hmm, plasticky and they do bend in shape they actually do hold and bend but they actually feel quite nice considering they're not velvet they actually do feel nice we'll just need to wait and see what that's like on actually now the adjustable tightenings here are like a bra strap so they're not velcro but they will do exactly the same they will just tighten they will just loosen and this part here which i'm used to velvet is lace but again that feels quite nice okay so i'm going to pop her on and let's have a look at her now <laughs> she is in position so I'm going to use my wig brush I've got a wig a wig, wig tooth comb as well so that's a little bit crazy she's gone on she looks a bit nuts doesn't she so I'm gonna go down here and part her now I normally wear my wigs parted in um, middle or just slightly off no oh my gosh she feels amazing she actually feels she looks that color is absolutely stunning that is such a pretty pretty color and the fibers i mean she's long you can see she's not quite I mean, she's just down to my boobs and no more so she is long in length She's probably similar length to Zara, but she's not as much hair as Zara. But she looks like she's got a lot of hair, but um, she's not quite as dense as John Renault Zara. Now, let me have a look here. Right, so this is something that I'm not familiar with this make at all and I'm going to be very very honest and that is something that I am I'm very honest in all my reviews um I buy wigs for myself I'm a wig lover and I'm always looking for that perfect ultimate wig so each time I buy a new, a new one you know it's what if this wig is just the ultimate wig and then if it is then I'll buy it in every single color because I just love the wig I've sort of learned over the years that I actually am warming a lot more to the sort of lighter colours and that I do like the longer lengths. So I am learning a bit about wigs, although I don't heavily style them and I don't do too much to them. I am familiar generally with how they come. So Beltress, when it arrived, the first time I ordered a Beltress um, from Mimo Wigs was my first one. And I was taking her out the box. And I actually was taking her out the box to camera. And thankfully I did. Because I noticed that the stitch stitching had came away at the back. And I obviously straight away stopped my recording. Didn't touch the wig anymore. I mean I looked it over made sure there was nothing else. And I notified um, Michelle at Memo Wigs. I sent her the video. So that she could see me thankfully doing it to camera. Um, and... She was fantastic at dealing with that. So that that slightly, if I'm being honest, put me off Beltress because I have never had any issues with John Renault or Raquel Welsh. And I dare say that over in time, I probably will come up against maybe the odd thing. But I have to say, I've been purchasing them for years and I have so far, touch heavy wood, never had any issues and I've never had to return any wigs. Beltress, obviously, I had to return. And I didn't reorder because, it's, it, as I say, it did put me slightly off. But having been gifted this wig, I'm prepared to obviously like, oh my God, that's amazing. I've been gifted it. And I'm going to be very honest with it. So when I put it on, I was thinking, I've not got this on right. Because there's a section here that you can see that looks cut now it's not symmetrical on the other side this bit here looks intended doesn't it that looks like a fringe 
that has been cut, specifically an, out, an overgrown fringe, that looks like it. And the layering on this, you know, there's a, a short piece here, a layer here, that to me looks intended. There is a definite graduation from fringe down. This side doesn't look like that. If you look, there's a bit here, which doesn't mirror this side at all. Because if you look, that's maybe close enough to it. But this section is bonkers. Now, to me, that looks as though somebody has cut the fibres. That's what that looks like. It looks like it's actually been cut. That does not look... If it's a manufacturing fault, it looks as though that should have continued. And maybe a shorter piece here. No, because that still wouldn't marry up with that. I just don't get it. Because it's such a gorgeous wig. And I've looked at the I've looked at the photos. I've looked at the photos and that just does not look right at all. So then I'm thinking, am I wearing this right? And the ear tabs, the ear tabs are correct, they're in the right place. So that tells me that that should be there. So what we'll do is I'm gonna play around with it a wee bit more. Because Michelle said, is it have you tried it in the middle? I'm like, yeah, and it still does not look right. I mean, has anybody else had this? I mean, it'd be really interesting to see if anybody else is. I mean, I can tuck it away. I can tuck that away and tucked away. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You honestly, honestly would then not know that that piece was there. You really wouldn't. But it's such a gorgeous style that it's frustrating. That, that that piece is like that. I just... I don't know. That is just bonkers. Really bonkers. So let's see if I try and... If I try and put it the other way. Try and put a bit more over. I say I don't play around with wigs too much. I just literally take them out, put them on, change the part and that's it. I don't really want to have to... That just doesn't look right. Even if that was intended, that's not right. A hairdresser wouldn't even cut the layer in like that. That's just bonkers. I mean... I really want to wear this wig and I honestly, unless I have that tucked away, would not wear that wig. And honestly, the fibre feeling is gorgeous in this wig. That that is just such a disappointment. As I say, that's me had now two Beltres wigs. And I've had an issue with both because I am pretty sure that that is not factory intended. God. I'll tell you honestly, the thought was that maybe this had been a unit that maybe someone had returned and that Michelle wasn't aware of it and that maybe they tried to cut it because that's what it looked like to me. It just looked like somebody has taken a pair of scissors and went like that. But anyway, at least you've got an idea. I mean, it is it is gorgeous. I mean, if you look at that lace, it's beautiful. The lace is lovely. The rooting is gorgeous. It's not too heavy. The fibers feel incredible really really gorgeous fibers it's just such a shame about that section of hair what can i say maybe somebody at beltress can 
enlighten me and can tell me what if that is standard um because i doubt it <laughs> if it is it's just a bit strange um okay so as i say in all my videos i've purchased my wigs from memo wigs here in scotland um who have a really strong presence on instagram they have their own web page etc they ship all over the world and um, they are fantastic to deal with i cannot praise them enough they are just such a wonderful company. Um, so definitely, definitely um, look Memo Wigs up. If you have enjoyed seeing this, I apologise because obviously it's, you know, it's maybe it's sometimes good just to sometimes see when things go wrong. If you enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you want to see some more reviews. And also you can catch me over on my Instagram page as well where you'll see lots more um, photos with wigs and a little bit about my life. And I am so happy that you joined me and have watched um, my review and I hope that you have found it really helpful. If you've got any questions in relation to this wig or any other wig, then please drop me a little comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.